what the ancient mariners described as sea serpents. And no wonder. I get it now. KTLA's Dave Meekum is live in Long Beach with more on the unusual find. Incredible. Hi, Dave. Incredible. What a sight, huh? I can look at that picture forever. Uh, we're talking the mighty oar fish. And for the uh, crew and others on the uh, schooner over there, Avalon based, next to the riverboat, what a surprise. This one's 18 feet long. It took 25 of us to pick it up. Um, it, it's a once a lifetime opportunity. Rare and mysterious. That's not overselling it, as oarfish are largely uncharted territory for scientists. Jasmine Santana of the Catalina Island Marine Institute made the discovery of the recently deceased oarfish on Sunday at a depth of about 15 feet on the island's Toyon Bay. One of her counterparts from the Avalon based Tole Moore was there spoke with us via Skype from Catalina. She uh, was snorkeling, sees this giant fish uh, on the bottom of the ocean, swims down, grabs it by the tail, and swims it to the beach. Uh, it was awesome. There were people sprinting to go and see this fish. Louisiana State University's Dr. Mark Benfield, a marine biologist, shared this rare video with KTLA. It was shot in the Gulf of Mexico a couple years back. It is one of a kind as the giant oar fish spends most of its time slithering through the ocean's deepest depths beneath tropical waters and is rarely seen at the surface. Back in 1996, a group of Navy SEALs found a 23-footer of Coronado. Meanwhile, experts at UC Santa Barbara have already expressed interest over this Catalina find, and so tissue samples are on their way.